I promise I will not hoard pages next year. Okay, y'all, truth be told, I, I just started filming and my little program for recording the voice was looping on like two seconds when I after my test, so it did not. <laughs> I'm having to start over. Let's do this again, shall we? Let's just, let's just do it again. Hi, <laughs> welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Allie Brown. I love to share all things planner related and minimalism and art and journaling has my heart. I love journaling, art and all the things. Today I am going to be sharing my last weeks video, my common planner. I say weeks, I have to be careful because it's not a Hobonichi weeks. It is a common planner and a weeks size. I am feeling right at home, y'all, in my common planner. I have used the B6 when she first came out with them and then I use, I'm using the weeks. And I got the B6 Slim for 2025. Since I've been using the common planner for a couple years now, it's just, I don't know, I just have my way of using it and I'm pretty good at committing to something and trying things out slowly to really make sure give things a chance. So I wanted to share what's really been working for me. Not much has changed. I did change something on the right side of the weeks that I'll share with you. I am super duper looking forward next year to doing my memory keeping and my, like my memory keeping lighter journaling and my planning all in one book. I really started auditioning that this year around, I don't know, two and a half, three months ago. I love it so much. I am keeping the deeper stuff that I need to like, like emotional stuff that I need to process in a separate book because I don't want that on the internet. The lighter memory keeping scrapbooky page things, I am very happy. I call them vignettes. I put them in my, my planner and they're just like a fun little breath of joy that I get to see in the midst of all the functional stuff that I have written down. I often look at my planners as journals anyway. I don't really like to throw away my planners. I don't think I have. I think I have all my planners. I have a like my rings, like I think it was um, day timer or something when I was living on my own. My husband and I at the time were engaged. I was getting my blood work done, you know, for the marriage license, all this stuff. And so to look back on all of that, like even the appointment that, you know, I had to go get my blood work done to get my marriage license. I don't know, it's just fun little things for me to, I don't know, memories and stuff. Although I am also on a minimalism journey. So I'm trying to figure out this balance of, getting rid of things, but like the things aren't holding the memory. There's just so many fun things that you kind of do forget until you look through your planners. So it's fun to see what I did in different years. I wanted to share too that I did end up rehoming my, both of my B6 Eternal Leather Goods folios. I had buyers for them that night, which was really awesome. With the income I made from those folios, which they keep their value, just so y'all know, I was able to purchase a B6 Slim and I realized that when I ordered it from Colin, I did not get the lined version. You can, okay, so when you get them, this is just a little side, a side thing. When you get your folios, normally they come raw. So here's an example. So this is an A6, it's upside down, <laughs> but this is the raw side and that's normally how they come. But it's, there's listings there. I think the one of the weeks has a lined, um, and that's what I got last year for my week. So here's the difference. You can see this is lined. So it's not kind of like that suede feeling. And I got it because, I don't know, it just kind of looks a little bit extra because I'm a little extra. <laughs> it just looks more finished. It's very pretty. And I did enjoy this lined and looking at it and the feel of it. So I was, he was so sweet. Like I reached out to him after and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to ask you if I could add on the line. It is extra. It is extra money to get that piece of leather in there. But he was so kind to accommodate me and get me a link to be able to pay him for that. So pretty excited that I'm getting a B6 Slim Eternal Leather Goods Folio for my 2025 common planner, which also too, can I share, I put my common planner in a B6 E-class. Do y'all remember those Chic Sparrow E-classes? Hold on, I'm going on a bunny trail. This is not in my notes, but I'm gonna go on it anyway. Okay, y'all, do y'all remember? Chic Sparrow had, I don't know, I guess she didn't have her logo on here. Does she not have her logo on this one? 
I don't see a logo on this one. This was her personal, like Jen gave me, this was from hers. So maybe she didn't put a logo on her own notebook, but this is an E-class and I just put just to see, cause you know how thick it is? Um, the B6 Slim and this E-class back here and it fits, oh, I just like knocked that over. I'm trying to be cute. It fits so nice. Look at that, it fits so nice because it's chunkier it works so i mean if my if my folio doesn't get in in time then i might just use this instead and it's kind of fun to have that option too just such a slick such a slick folio book thing but anyway i wanted to share that too but today is my last week's video i don't think i'm going to be i might do a final final flip of my weeks after it's all said and done maybe I won't like commit to anything right now, but I just wanted to show y'all what I've been doing, what's working so well for me, some of the things that I've just been doing for the whole year. And I don't know, I commit to stuff and then if it works, I just don't change it if it's working. I don't like changing things just for the sake, I don't like change in general usually. So here we go, let's just get started with this. This is the Eternal Other Goods I showed y'all, but look what I did to it. <laughs> Do you see this? I stuck it, I put it in my purse and I had some hand sanitizer that exploded in my purse. And so when I shoved this in, it, and I mean, that's like straight up alcohol, you know? So it dried it out so bad, but it is now a part of my notebook and it's kind of growing on me. I put a ton of Chic Sparrow's leather balm on it and it kind of helped, but let me open this up look how feathery she is getting like do you see this oh and i did put my print my joy to the world print in there because it's christmas and yeah christmas time is here christmas time is here tons of stickers i just put i put tons of stickers in the back um and on these pages because i can and so there's my letter to myself. I'm going, I'm thinking about maybe doing with this page. I was gonna do this page to be like a ton of photos that were like, like highlight photos for me. And I might still do that, but I might just do like a summary of 2024. And, and then that way I have like a beginning of the year and the end of the year. And right now my husband's on there cause I thought it was gonna be like a highlight photo page, but I might just do, a beginning and the end that might that's how I might use this goal page because I don't really do my goals kind of like this although I would like to I would like to try but I didn't this year and then these are my 12 week years my quarters great book if you haven't read it I don't really going to get too much into this I don't think I have do I have a 12 week year video I have been failing so bad at this quarter but I'm going to get back on track with my 12 week year stuff. Like I could probably track some of this stuff because I do track it in the weeks. And maybe that's something for me to consider. Do I want to be redundant with the tracking of the 12 week year stuff here? And one of my goals is like for weight loss, my health journey. And so one of those things is to track my points every day. I have a thing in my weeks where I have a track. So. It's kind of redundant. I'm finding that when things are redundant, I won't do them. That's something for me to maybe process for next year to finish. But just the months are just, were my things I had to do. I think I mentioned on another video, I was at a time in my life earlier this year, we were in ministry. And so I used a Tombow to kind of highlight weeks where I needed to protect my time, like my my space, my mental health or whatever. So like, for instance, I'm in December. I don't really have so many people pulling on me. And so I don't have these lines like I did before, but I did, I, I did have one, I think one time. But what I'll do is I'll just put a line through the week where it's like, I don't want to people that week. So that's what I do. <laughs> and a lot of these lines, like, look, it's because I already had a ton of stuff I was doing with people and then I was like, no more, <laughs> like I can do no more. So sometimes I'd put the line before any appointments were made and sometimes I would put a line just to show myself when I was making an appointment with somebody else. No more that week, I can't do any more that week. That was helpful for me to have a visual of eh, eh, do a different week because your brain. 
So anywho, I was doing super good at the beginning of the year, putting my 12 week year goals on each on the sides here. I would like to get back to doing that because I kind of fell off the bandwagon. Um, Just month, month, month. And yeah, kind of tracking, you know, like pay periods and stuff like that. This is January. This is appointments for my new planner that I need to put in, but I didn't have my planner yet. So I just stuck them at the end here and then started my week weeklies. You'll see at the beginning of the year, it does not look much different. I'll do one that's full so you can kind of see. So this was my first of the year weeks and here's my end of the year weeks. It's pretty much the same. The differences, and I've shared a video before, are I moved this column over here because I didn't need as much room over here. And then when I redid the format here, I wanted to give a little more space since I had more room, some more space for my reflections and then focus. And then I was able to put my meal planning and my tracking stuff all in the center spot. So that's, that's the only thing that really changed for my week layout, I guess. I have my reflections, I love doing them. I would, I was journaling a lot right here because it was, we were on a vacation and so I didn't really have much to do. You'll see that I don't use any watercolor at all in this planner. Just a lot of stickers and my Tombow, writing. And it's kind of fluffy, like, you know, even with just stickers. Kind of going quickly because it's and if i didn't have like if i blobbed or just was not feeling motivated sometimes i would just use this space for journaling leave it to me to use every square centimeter to just fill up the notebook minus these pages i'm trying y'all <laughs> i'm trying not to be a hoarder with my pages in the back recover from pneumonia. So I was visiting my sister this week, having to recover. <gasps> my son got married. Lots of journaling. So what was happening here was that I put what I had to do here for my focus and then I was kind of doing a micro journaling thing and then I kind of made the switch to go from this micro journaling to just kind of journal like the whole way in the back. And this is where I changed it, I think. Yeah, no, no, I did not change it here. But you'll see sometimes where I started kind of like teasing with it, you will see, I will put like journal a little bit, page 175, which is why I love the the numbered pages in the back because I can go to 175 and see what did I say about that day, which is right here. It was the 25th, so I know that I can look here. What I plan on doing is when I do like a vignette, I could put a little, you know, notation of, okay, I did this on page whatever. So that's kind of fun. I've been enjoying that. It's a very interactive book by the end of the year. And this is last week and this is this week, which I haven't really put everything in here that I need to. And we only have a few more weeks left. I'm so excited. I'm gonna savor the rest of this year. So this starts the note pages in the back. And as you can see, I did not really utilize the first, this blank first page that could be used as an index. I probably will go back through all of my pages and just do what I do, like just go through them, write the numbers down, and that way I know where things are. Even at the you know end, end of this year, I will have more things in here. Couple things that have been super duper helpful is having a Tombow marker to kind of put on one spot of the edge of the page things that are similar. So anything here with this like gold, this mustardy Tombow, 
is going to be something related to my business, like me learning things from my business or marketing or whatever. And then I decided to use this purpley color for, um, I think, let's see, Plan With B calls them inboxes. And so I really liked what she did. So I totally copied her. So I have this one here. And then I, when they kind of get too far in the back of the book when I'm too, you know, too far forward, then I'll do another one. So I have another one and I can find it easily right here. So like that one I did mostly or forwarded things. So I have another one right here. So now I'm working on this one. So that's been super helpful. And I think what I might even do is create a color for my vignettes if I want to like that's the one thing that is a bit of a con when you do the journaling and the planning like I do my functional I don't do dailies I don't do dailies I just kind of bullet journal down two columns and so if I have a vignette a memory whatever that I want to look for it's kind of it, they kind of get lost in all of the functionality that's why I think it's fun when you happen to brush by one it's like oh that's so cool but it would be nice to be able to get to it quicker so I might have a color in a different spot in 2025 just so I can access them quicker and when I'm showing you guys things um, that would be helpful so that color thing on the side has really I'm gonna keep doing that for sure and I mean it's like all my business stuff you can see <laughs> I have a lot of things I learned this year. This was the index. These are um, promises versus for my kids. I love looking back at them. Then I took this from, oh gosh, I'm trying to remember. I mentioned her name in, when I first got this. If I can find it, I will put it in the description because I love giving people credit. But these were like monthly things that I would track. And then these are weekly things. And I did okay. I did pretty good. Um, at tracking stuff for next year, I think the different thing I would do in my monthlies, since now I have a little more time to think about stuff, I will just put in there like, okay, this is air filter. Like the first of the month is the air filter, all that stuff. Cause obviously we haven't been doing our air filters as much. Like we are way due for an air filter. And then this was just, again, like just tracking different things. And I, I really like that. I'm curious how it's gonna work out with the B6 Slim because it's a different, you know, different grids or whatever, but I'll figure it out. And then this is just my YouTube videos um, that I wanted to do, the queue. And then I would put like the different stages I was at. I was kind of curious how the subscribers were, like if I lost a ton of people, or if I gained people. It's been actually growing slowly and steadily, which is cool. I haven't said anything too crazy to piss people off. And there's one of those inbox things. And then I start with my bullet journaling and then this was my items decluttered. This has been really fun for me to go back to this. I should probably put, honestly, this would be like that purple color. Like I, it would be cool to associate. <gasps> oh my gosh. I think I just had an idea. It'd be cool to like associate the colors with the inbox. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to chew on that for a little bit and I will get back with you for 2025. I'm just gonna have to think about that. And then I go on and I am just doing my bullet journaling and adding different things like book notes. So this was my 12 week year book notes, um, bullet journaling. I did a little baby vignette right here. And then I did a bigger vignette right here, more, you know, this is meal planning right there, which now it's in my weeks. So I don't have to do it on these pages. Another vignette and yeah, just going down. I guess I did do. I guess I did do vignettes, but I was doing them kind of like a scrapbook page and not really journaling. Does that make sense? You'll see a little sentiment, which I'm gonna be teaching all this stuff, but I didn't really have any words. That's the difference for sure. Okay, more like notes, bullet journaling, vignettes, bujo, 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 bujo. More notes, another vignette. Gosh, I did do a lot of vignettes. I was just doing this. More notes from my coaching stuff, my business mentor school. And more Bujo, more business mentor school, Bujo vignette. So you'll just see, oh, this was a revamping of my website, which I didn't finish. Beholding book notes. 
Um, I gotta keep reading that book. Another vignette. Notes. This was a brain dump I did. And more Bujo. And then you'll start seeing here. So after I started coaching with Dr. Edie, I started writing the thought that I was practicing for the day in my bullet journaly, whatever. And I used this Tombow marker. I only have two that I'm using. That's it. I have this color, which has totally, I don't know what it is. I will look, you know what? I do know what it is because I wrote it down in this, this, this thing. I have it. And the index, Tombow swatches 35. This is why we write numbers on things and we use an index. Did you see how fast I was able to just pull up these things? Okay, bless the Lord. 992 is this color and 026 is this color. And those are the only two colors that I'm using for, I don't know, I just, don't really use a ton of colors, except for that purple color, which was, the purple color is 553 for the other things, but for the date highlight and my thought to practice, I'm using this one, 992, and then I, I actually switch it. So my thought to practice, I'm now doing it. I just like change that, I guess, because look, they're, they're being highlighted in this one. I guess I switched it. There's more notes. Yeah, I switched it over here. I switched it to this one. My mustard color is my thought I'm practicing. Yep, yep. And I'm just doing, what's his name? The guy who created the bullet journal, it's very, very simple. It's just a list with little dots. And if I do it, I X on it, I put the X. If I am working on it, I do a little slash over it. If I need to move it forward, then I move it forward. And the other thing that I do is if I need to move it forward, I highlight it. I'm such a visual person and things, I mean, there's a lot of writing here. So it helps me to see what's not getting done. If I'm seeing something over and over again being moving moved forward, then I'm like, do I really wanna do that right now? Or just kind of like, you know, shelf it for a second. So anyway. See, like I would definitely put this on my index, this anthropology blend for essential oils. So I'm gonna go through this whole book and really index what I wanna do. Vignette. This is June. I tried doing, I was such in a slump. I tried doing like my time tracking stuff, like what I was doing. And it helped me get back on track. It helped me become productive again. That's what I love about no, these blank pages is you can do, you can do whatever. You can do whatever you wanna do in the back. This is a vignette with the journaling. So I did two pages. And this is what I'm excited about for my B6 is that I'm gonna have more room in the back for my, you know, bullet journaling and if I want to do a two-page spread with a vignette and the journaling or whatever it's just it's just such a fun size I'm so used to that size so it's more journaling so this is when I started kind of auditioning that see this is like all journaling here more journaling sometimes it's one page sometimes it's two so it's kind of like a journal flip through I guess Sometimes I'll just write stuff. This is more of a vignette journaling page. More book notes. Lots of book notes, holy crap. Oh yeah, that's right, because I'm finishing that one up. So I have a little bit of room here. Inbox. More, this is just a page of journaling. That was kind of that was kind of new for me. It's just journaling on that page. This is going to be my birthday vignette, um, and I'm waiting to film that for my class that I'm about to release. So I saved two pages for that. <laughs> Whoops. And I'm just sticking to it, y'all. I just stick to it. That's what I do. 
lots of notes. I did some like slides from the class I was taking and just made them stickers and stuck them there because I, I liked to see the what she said. This was my last vignette and this was just kind of like a sentiment one. More, I'm getting a little more um, gen, like not being scared because we're in December and look at all these, these are the pages I have left. So I'm actually kind of writing a bit more and now we're here. I'm not completely done, but I can do a little half slash because we're doing it right now. I am on page 206 and there are 369 pages left left in the book so let's see dude i just need to go for it next year i really do 369 12 15 18 did you, did that just go through your head and went through mine okay 206 that's 163 pages i barely went half no that's not right. Is that right? 369. 369. Okay. I promise I will not hoard pages next year. I literally barely went over halfway. Oh my gosh. And I have been like, boom, boom, boom. Like if you, you can see the time like from you know, September, I've been using the pages more next year. Next year, I'm not gonna be a hoarder. I'm just gonna use it for my notes, for my, I think the journaling is really gonna help, like the light journaling. Like I said before, my heavier journaling, my manual journaling is going to go in the N1, Sterling Ink N1 that I have. It's not gonna look as fun or pretty as it used to be, cause I was doing like vignette things in there. It's all gonna be in my planner. And then normally when I need to process something, it's just words. But this will be okay. Like, even though I don't like change, I'll do it. If it's convenient, more better for me, it'll be better for me. That's my weeks. And I just have some stickers back here. My awesome stencil that I use. A letter from my daughter in love that I cherish. And yeah, that's my weeks. Golly, I'm just flabbergasted that I still have a hundred and sixty three. 163 pages left. And I thought I was doing good. Anyway, just, just look how cute and chunky. Just, isn't it crazy how much it feathers out though? That's the beginning of the notes. So it's kind of fun to see like how feathery it gets. I am just shocked. I'm shocked. It's okay, it'll be okay. Anyway, I'm wondering what it's going to be like next year when I do, you know, use more of the pages and not be stingy, like how fat the book is going to be. Because it's kind of, she's kind of thick. You know what I mean? Even now. We'll see. That's it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I am super duper excited about the no sweat vignettes coming up. I'm also excited about the joyful journaling. I have not forgotten about it. We're just in the holiday season. I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving holiday. I wanted to allow people to just not have to think about getting on a Zoom, spend time with your families and all that stuff, but I will be opening that up the beginning of the year it's going to be a limit um, of people it'll be a limit of i haven't decided 40 or 50 um, but i will be doing it again i'm going to be doing the joyful journey workshop lab whatever i want to call it throughout the year maybe two or three times and then i'll have a facebook group and then we'll pop on for like lives where we can talk about stuff together but that's i'm very excited it was super fun to share my maybe last week's video with y'all there is no way i'm going to be able to use up 163 pages in what is it 29 days i don't think it's possible thank you so so much y'all for hanging out with me today and just I don't know, being a part of my life. I really love y'all so much and I've been able to meet a few of you over the years and it's just been a delight to be able to hang out here on YouTube. I have a video, a, a Dazzle Drive video that's coming out where I share my nail polish. Oh, and then I have another part of like what I actually eat. 
um, for my health journey coming up. I probably will be showing my B6 Slim when it comes in. So I'll have things to share. I always do because I love sharing with y'all. I love sharing joy. I'm a joy curator <laughs> and whatever brings me joy, I like to share with you because I like sharing joy. All right. I love y'all so much. I will see you later. Bye.